Okay, so this is my Merlin head, and um, I have it powered by a Tekion uh, MP3450i, which is a variable voltage battery. I've set the pins to 12 volts. Um, it's got a connector that connects into the back of the Merlin. Um, this is turning on the unit. This is a Bluetooth module. Um, this enables me to connect wirelessly to my Android phone. Got a connector, it's a mini sub to Canon 3 pin that goes into my Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, for a slider, I have a slider on here. It's a Photomate, it's an inexpensive Chinese slider. I bought for about $5. I bought this L bracket, it's a Vixen Dovetail L bracket, and I bought this from Op Telescopes in California for about $24. The Bluetooth module and the connector I bought off of a gentleman named Claude, who's uh, an administrator on the Altopanos uh, forums. And, um, and I bought this for about 65 euros. I bought the Merlin head for 169 euros in the battery pack for about $140 US. Um, the software I'm using on my, on my Android phone is called Panorama App and this is the software. First thing you have to do is connect it. And it's connecting with the Merlin. The light on the Bluetooth now is now solid. That means it's connected. I go here and I can show you. I can operate it. It goes up, down, right, left. And I'll show a quick demonstration of a panorama. So I'm going to say set the left bound section. So I'm going to go to the left and I'm going to say next. And I have to hit the right bound position. I say, okay, that's the right side of the frame. The upper bound, scroll it up, hit next, lower bound. So it's basically hitting the four points that it has to go between. It's only one shot because this is set at 24 millimeters, uh, which I entered in the settings, and I just say go ahead and do it. Now it's aligning to the middle position of this, just this one shot. And then it takes the shot automatically, and that's it. That's how it works.